Oh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be a Captain Hillian today, along with... He is a mildly and weirdly sickly Drakir. I don't know if I'm sick or not. <laughs> okay, let, let's hope that's not going to get too bad. But yeah, welcome back to Evoland 2, where I'm pretty sure we should be able to finish off this, uh, <laughs> this <laughs> turn-based strategy uh, section of the game. Last time we got to here, and well, these wizards turned out to be a lot more powerful than we thought. Well, we thought we were going, we thought they were going to be powerful, but not as powerful as they proved to be. So yeah, let's get a recruit and train them up to be a soldier. And if we fail this battle again, we can train them up to a knight. I think we should be able to take out those wizards with, if we, yeah, you know, if if we just stay out of their range just enough. Yeah, no. Was it this one the bonus ones or the main one? This is the main one. All right, I think we, do, I think we have a few bonus ones remaining. Lots to do. I think we've gotten you know, both of the basic ones. Uh, let's see, how far ahead can they attack? Okay, let's try and take out. Actually, let's move you. Hmm. Is he... Forward a bit. Oh, come on, Glacier Boy! <laughs> um, yeah, I'm doing good. Just. I've been feeling good all day, just until now. About half an hour before stream started feeling weird. Mm. Uh, yeah, how are you doing, Glacier Boy? Let's see, those arches are going to be a problem, but so are these. I think one way of getting through this part of the game might be to just do these levels over and over again until you just have overwhelming force. Yeah, or at least they, get, they let you keep the points so that you are never, you won't, you won't get stuck. Basically, that made sure you won't get stuck. You will get through either by skill or by forcing it. Yeah. Okay. We also have mattress now. Um, I want to stay out of range of these guys. Actually, I should not say by force, I would say, I should not say by force than forcing it. For Forcing it would probably mean something else. There. Then we put our archers behind this line. And just for the sake of it, Protect there. There. Start these charging up. So we. Oh, the heck. I, I kind of like the Daryl there. Do he, he kind of reminds me of the female heavy knight from the sky. Yeah? Like if you put them on. on defend. They will defend anyone around. And I usually have about three of them or more. In the fields and I can protect everyone or as many as possible. Okay. And there goes our knights. Yeah, knights are really just background. Uh, really should be on the back uh, on the back line since they are so vulnerable and just charge forwards once something gets in range of them. Okay. Let's hope the wizards continue yeah, to play dumb. But the knights do seem like they're able to do a lot of damage and hit two people at once, even, I think. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, let's try and focus this one down. Uh, first, move you back. These paladins are troublesome with how much health... Not, not so much how much health, but how much armor they have. Except for yeah, targets like Mattos here. <laughs> Let's for it a little bit. Probably should have charged at the second level, but okay. Uh, let's move you forward and protect. And... Yeah. Charge again. Yeah, I hope that we can finish this section off in this uh, in this stream because I don't really want to have to do too much to keep playing 
to keep trying to get through here. Yeah. Okay, like, everyone ball up. If you're not unable to finish it on this stream, I hope it will be able to finish it next stream. Or if you just on this one for two stream, that would get annoying quickly. Yeah. Especially if you're stuck on the same level. Okay, our archers are vulnerable, but hopefully they'll go for the other guys. Okay, they're coming in. Probably going to lose that paladin this time. Yeah, everyone's just going for the square. And there goes the paladin. Okay. Yeah, I, I think... I think in general just archers are a better investment since they are pretty cheap and they can deal a lot of damage even though they are vulnerable themselves. Yeah, do, do feel like it is good to have a bit of mix? Like we have some soldiers we can upgrade to paladins but from there if we need more units definitely more archers. So we hopefully hmm. soon have enough paladins I hope. Hmm. Okay, bit of a sniper duel. As in, just take one out. <laughs> let's see. You can actually hit that one. So let's try and take them out before they get up close. Since they do deal a lot of damage. There we go. Now we just need someone to take out these. Um, let's charge again. With some luck, Matchels might be should be able to take those two out. Athena. Mm, if we if you could move forward one bit, you can get basically everyone there. Um. You actually know you'll get yourself caught in the mage's attack line. You step out for a second. Okay. Attacked. There we go. Three down in one go. Uh, you. Can't really get to them. Velvet. Oops. Oh. Okay, I thought I was going to get rid of both of those, but no. Uh, I must let's... put those over there. Here we go. Yeah, the thing with this is to get to try and get in weakening shots with artillery and then move in for the kill so you can well, attack without getting counterattacked. He, he is just tanking those shots. Okay, Falcon does need a heal though. Okay. Taking a risk with this. Okay, at least they're glass cannons. Um, charge again. There we go. Okay. You keep moving forwards. They can't outrun you. Need to come that. Um, that should take care of you. Yep. Okay. Now we. Hmm. These two are probably going to get blasted. So let's move forward and spread out. Let's hope that they can't attack on specific target. Uh, I'm hoping they can only attack uh, specific targets and not just anywhere. 
otherwise uh, they can just blast everyone here by attacking this middle square. But I'm doubting that they can do that. Yeah. Is it AoE? Yes. But I don't think it's a massive... Yeah. It's, it is that size of an AoE. Yeah, but they, they need to target a specific uh, enemy for that, to actually land it. Ow. There goes the archer. Still think we can take this, though, especially since these are now exposed. Can we get to this last one? No. But we can weaken them up. <laughs> had been two more damage we could have had it there. Actually, there we go. <laughs> that also works. Okay, now it's just mopping up. You can attack up to there. So we move you there. Dalton is probably going to get hit. But he should be able to survive that, hopefully. Mm, all the same. Let's move him away a bit. And you can chase over here, even though you probably won't do much. Okay, yeah, that, that went a lot better now that we understand how their attack actually works. Okay, let's take this one out. Just headbutt a freaking siege weapon. And there we go. Now it's only the other catapult left. Do you think the horns were decorative? Uh, no. Only more functional than a horned helmet. Yeah. There we go. These wizards are a force to be reckoned with. We must eliminate Magus and his disciples. We've almost raised Ammonia Castle. Soon this world will be a thing of the past. Or perhaps that's already the case? <laughs> no time to get existential now. Does it have upgrade? Yeah, there should be another command tent over here. Demonia Castle. Yep. Okay. That sounds like you missed. Yeah, that's of the other paths. Let's see. Lieutenants, you are the might of our army. You strike fear in the hearts of our foes. Your power and cruelty have earned you the dreaded moniker the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. <laughs> Mm, nope, that's uh, no good. Nope. Yep. Uh, Sorry. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't work anymore. What do you mean, no good? We, uh... Well, we lost the horses. Have they died? No, no. We actually lost them. And I mean, really lost. <laughs> One minute they were there, and then... Nowhere to be found. Maybe put them someplace else? So now we should actually be called the full infantrymen of the apocalypse. What the heck? It doesn't have this same bushy ring to it, Josh. The tough. No. No. My lord. Uh oh. Everything all right? Brace yourselves. To ensure our victory, I shall unleash the force of darkness itself. Sounds great, my lord! What have I done to deserve this? <laughs> okay, so he's actually going to enter the battle himself. Finally, we come to the Monia Castle. It has seen better days. I pray there are survivors. Let's make haste. 
Thank you for being as agile and steadfast as you were in this war. I hardly, uh, I hardly could have led the troops with so much mastery. Truly, thank you. There's more cases that we get freebie try against. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can't afford to upgrade anyone. At, uh, okay, I like that Mathos is on the side there, just peeking in. Just there, right? Yeah, I probably should have looked at that first, but oh well. Okay. So we go either this way, which is archers, or, uh, knights, and wizards, or this way, which is paladins, archers, and the catapults. Oh, and there's another catapult. Okay. I thought uh, Marco said that doing that side mission would remove them from this last mission, unless this is not the last mission, though we could also mean that there's less of them now than there would have been otherwise. Okay, let's move forward. Uh, can everyone move to... Actually, yeah, just move to here. Protect. They won't be able to reach us. But at least... Yeah, we can just move up and prepare. You can notice wizards are specifically designed against this uh, tactic. We can still make use of it for a bit. Okay, catapult move up. Mathos up. Knights move up, but not to the front. Or more knights. <laughs> The four infantrymen of the apocalypse. Why would I not be surprised to learn that they lost their uh, horses in the forest spell? I, I, I was to use your stones and. Yeah, yeah, I'd say hello. 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 Hmm? Kisifrit Sipok, what is he doing? Oh. Okay, he's going to call down spells on us. I summon Infernal Flames. Uh -oh. okay. Is he going to... F okay, either he's bringing down an attack down oh, from there, or he's summoning Elementals. Let's see, stay out of their range. Okay. Forgot to check them. The way it smoked, like, is it going to be an EOE spell of a bigger magnitude? We'll see. Hmm. Okay, they're going to go for these three, I'm guessing. So now we just have to make sure that these or the others stay out of their range. Hmm. Pulled up. These two can guard our flank, so to say. Hmm. Yeah, this bunch up over here for the moment. Rather scattered around. Vel Velvet, I forgot about you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. The wizards have these two under pressure. So let's put you here and charge again. And yeah, you'll just have to stay in charge there for a second. The other side is just being disorganized. Okay. We'll see in a second what that spell actually does. I'm hoping it just... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, wait, did I, that actually hits their target? Okay, that is an AoE that he's throwing out. Okay, just like his disciples. I thought I thought I specifically yes. placed everyone to be outside of these range. Okay. Oh, that deals with them anyways.
Okay. Protect. And let's actually wait and not charge you again. How is this side looking? Okay. If they attack, they can take out any one of these. Or if they don't attack any of these of our hero units, this archer could take out one of our archers or possibly our knights. Yeah. And, oh, my head feels so much better after taking a painkiller and eating some food along with it. Yeah. That can typically help a lot. Nauseous. Yeah. Um, if it's to be a bit nauseous, weird in the belly. At least, at least it, could, it was not a big headache. I knew one was brewing, so yeah, I feel like good to get crush it before it become a an issue. Threat. No, not a threat. Now, now, now I'm merging into the Otias here. You know okay. what I mean? Before it becomes an issue. Yeah. It looks like the four infantrymen of the apocalypse are getting a bit confused with them just moving back and forth. Okay. Yeah. Stay out of that spot. You. Can you? Yes, you can. There we go. You are likely to get attacked by the other archer, though. So let's move a few uh, meat shields. <laughs> Forwards. Okay, the baluster can take. Unless the baluster gets taken out, they can take out this archer. And then the paladins are slow enough to be taken out as well. Just in case, moving that archer forwards as well. Okay. Now move everyone here together. We don't have to fear... No, we don't have to fear any other disciples, except for mages here. There is this... <clears throat> this catapult, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem when we huddle up. So, knights... I will not be, I will not be surprised if we fail this mission. Oh, wait. But then, then... If you do, we just get more points and can upgrade a few units, likely. Yeah. How? Hitting spec? What? Maybe the fate doesn't kick in yet? There we go. Uh, it, it'll be unlikely that I'll ever... You know, uh, it'll be unlikely that I'll uh, stream any uh, true turn-based strategy games in the future. Because... Well, you could you can see how long one of these <laughs> one of these uh, levels can go. Now we're trying to imagine an entire game like that. Yeah, I, I can see people and do enjoy it. But sometimes people just want uh, something a bit longer to watch and or half watch and just turn off the brain. Yeah. Thanks. You actually or can't read that now. Study. Well, by study, I mean like they started tell people's tactics. Yeah. Hmm. Charge. Okay, you're going to be left vulnerable for, for a bit. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, another decent strategy would likely be to just get a bunch of knights and move them forwards under Dolkin's protection, keeping Fina on hands as a healer, and she can't heal herself, it seems. And then when you get close enough to the enemy, just charge forward with the knights and decimate. Yeah, that is a good tactic, actually. Like, defensive formation, everything range, just, as you said, just brutally charge. 
<laughs> Not gonna lie, I feel called out by that by that turn off the brain comment truck here. What do you mean call out? I think many people do that. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. Sometimes everyone sometimes just needs to put something to just let the brain turn off uh, to rest a bit. Yeah. Okay, Dalkin takes the hit. Paladin on Paladin action. And yeah, the lieutenants are just mucking about there. Okay, where is that? Okay, that's easily enough dodge. Yeah, that's dodged easily enough. I feel like that's one of the spells I feel like I've referenced or something. Let's see. Let's take this one out. Yeah, just blocking off a choke point here. <clears throat> okay, you fetch. Okay. Now that catapult isn't going to be an issue anymore. There's still this one over here, but they're super yeah, slow. You guys have horse. <laughs> and a doggy. Okay. Don't okay. make the same mistake as the Incas and Aztec thing. They mistook the horses for getting dogs. Okay, so you can move three squares so we can catch up to here. You can start needling. Catch up. I'm going to wait until there's more of them in the strike range for super points. And. Okay, we are outside of Mages' range. His attack is probably stronger of a fireball than the others, or than his disciples. Uh, anyone else need healing? Velvet and Goggles. Let's heal Goggles, since, well, if he goes down, we lose. Yeah, no, if, it, if, we, if we, we need to avoid losing any of the main characters as well, so we don't know if this is the final battle or not. Yeah. And apparently, if Bog is correct, if one of our main characters fall, they are unable until this thing until we're is done. over. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably why we get, we get a lot of uh, our regular units back over and over for... We are meant to use them to protect the others. Yeah. Okay, almost in strike range of mages. Uh, if you a hit... Hmm. I don't want to risk overextending Menos. So you're just going to move back a bit. Let's uh, hear from Glacier Boy. As in, I turn off my brain and half listen to. As in, I turn off my brain and half listen to it for quite a while now. <laughs> oh, that's why you said you felt called out. Okay. It's... A lot of points. Like, yeah, if, I said, if we do lose, I do think we may be able to upgrade one or two people, soldiers to become paladins. Yeah, they, they cost about 500 each to do that, so that's not going to happen. It depends uh, how much points we have uh, if, if we lose. For at least one build upgrade. Okay. Now we have that catapult to deal with. So over here. There. Oh, good Okay. That was about what I expected from that one. Okay, he's bringing that out.
Okay, menos. Actually, uh, that would be a bad idea. Put him there because then he gets hit. Hello? Hi, so if you get points, even if you don't kill, you still get points, okay? Yep. Uh, a bit of a bad how positioning. How much did cost again? Uh, 700, about, I think. Oh. Oh, damn it. If it was 500, then I would say we might be able to afford two. Or nights, depending on which one's cheaper. Okay. I put myself in a bit of a bad position here by moving Menos forward with the attack. Uh, so the, the square is going to get broken up for a bit. Hmm. Uh, so unless mages can attack outside of that move that he's done... Oh, I, I overlooked you here. We should be safe. Let's see. Don't think this paladin will survive the counter. Nope. Oh, well, I should have attacked with the catapult first. Okay. And just move forwards. We can't get to that catapult without getting hit. Okay, he can do that and his own attack. Or, okay, he, no, he changed it up. Okay, that means that he's quite a danger. Yeah, unless those things are something else? Like traps? No, I doubt that. Uh, Mentos, you retreat quick. Uh, gotta take these out quick. We need to spread out now, so we don't get hit with that attack again. Uh, actually... Okay, that's not enough. Okay, we might lose someone here then. We have 1,200. One They weren't going to survive any attack anyways with that. And you're not going to be able to hit some... Okay, you can hit the Paladin. Okay, we're probably going to lose someone in a fireball. Probably... Probably our bloody healer. Unless he's going for someone closer, or he's going for goggles. Goggles, okay. Makes sense, but that also got rid of his own target. Okay, let's get you back for that. And... That oh, was a yeah, dumb... Yes, if you do... If you somehow lose now, we will be able to upgrade two soldiers. Okay, yeah, that was a dumb, because now now he's going to fireball him again, and that's going to cost us the level. Uh, it, it, again, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. We almost got 1,500. <laughs> Stealth Archer, Archer for the win. No, <laughs> it's impossible. I cannot lose, not now. And the others just poof. There we go, Battlemaster, you have won the campaign for Demonia. 
You're trapped like a rat that stings of <laughs> Corsican's cheese. Corsican. That sounds familiar. Do not think you can foil me with your obscure cheese references. <laughs> Quickly, after him. He must not be allowed to flee. We need to hurry. He's gonna get too far ahead. Pursue him. Quickly now. Off we go then. Uh, I guess off we go then. Match is left this way. Let's catch him quick. Don't, don't get ahead, Fina. Did I call her Lena before? <laughs> oh, okay. Where exactly are we? We followed mages all the way here. I believe this is a very ancient site, buried deep beneath Bono yeah, Demonia Castle. What was this place used for, Mills? I... I do not know. I've never laid eyes on it. Nor was I even aware it existed. But mages knew. Mido! <laughs> Another mysterious locale to explore. <laughs> Not a single inhabitant survived. Oh. I'll stay in case the mages try to flee. So it seems we were not able to prevent the demon genocide. Ah. Uh, hello. Menos. This cannot be. What are all these demons doing here? Okay, I think we found a cloning lab. It looks like ancient Magi machinery. Wait, could it be that the Magi created demons? An intriguing discovery. I would have never theorized. No, that's impossible. Demons created by humans? On the contrary, Manos, it is possible. If my working theory is correct, things have come full circle. Humans created demons during the Magi era, only to destroy them in the Great War. What a waste. Sod Snail, Fina. Please tell me she's mistaken. Well, the evidence seems to be right in front of our faces, so to deny it would be... stupid. That means... I, too, am not but a creature, molded by human hands, hardly even a living thing. I wouldn't go that far. No, that's not true. Menos, you're not merely some creature. You, you are Menos, <laughs> King of Sir Arthas. Commander-in-chief of the Demonian army, heir to the throne of Demonia itself. And you're also our friend. Still, my people has been annihilated by the Empire. My son has been tainted by a desire for vengeance. And now this. Ah. Maybe demons were created by the Magi, so what? That does nothing to change who you are. Why must you always look so <laughs> why must you always look back? You can't change yourself to your past, tragic as it may be. What good does it do to dwell on something you can't change? All that matters is this moment and what we'll do in the next. Most importantly, you're not alone. Goggles, Bina, and I'm here too. We're all standing by you. I understand your words, Velvet. Indeed, I would rather put the past aside and focus on the future, just as my father showed me. And yet, I still have hope. You say we are powerless to alter the past. I used to believe the same. But our travels through time have proved the opposite. So how can I be content to do nothing? How can I accept reality in its current form? The problem is, we still do, uh, do not know if we do uh, have free will. What if the changes we make to the timeline are predestined as well? I don't believe in fate or predestination. This power we have to journey through time 
I did not know what to make of it before. But now I understand. It has allowed us to mend reality. To change our world for the better. And who's to decide what is better for the world, hmm? You? Me? The four of us? Who are we to make that decision for the people whose lives we're upending in the process? And for every life saved, how many others does it destroy? How can we possibly deal with the collateral effects on thousands of years of history? I don't think time travel allows you to change things. The past is what it is. We can't just play gods. <laughs> so Velvet has taken the spots that uh, Menos used to <laughs> used to occupy on whether things are yeah, predestined or not. The rationale makes little sense. If we possess this power, why refrain from using it? I can't stand it when they argue. Can't they just agree to disagree? Yeah, then you're just going to argue later, apparent. How about you, Goggles? You think we should change time willy-nilly? Eh, not willy-nilly, but we should change things. For sure it's tempting. But Velvet has a point. We should be careful of the consequences. Hmm. We know that May... Uh, really? <laughs> so you were following me. <laughs> we all know where this is going. Give it up, mages. Or mages. <clears throat> You're finished. I must admit I underestimated you. I thought only Colonel Dolkin could interfere with my plans. You slaughtered my people. I shall never forgive you. Your people? Oh, you mean the critters we call demons? Oh, that's going to piss him off for sure. Rest assured, once I'm finally rid of you, I shall reactivate those ancient Magi machines. And with them, I'll build an army of demons, when it will be at my beck and call. You won't get away with this. We shall see. <laughs> Rhythm game mode, as long as nobody asks you to sing. <laughs> really? Oh no, really? Rockometer? I think it works better as a guitar if you turn that thing upside down, mages. This melody sounds familiar. Why does this song sound familiar? Uh, if it is, then I'm not recognizing it. Uh. Yeah. I consider myself to be pretty decent at uh, rhythm games, but you can see where I tend to trip up. If I miss one, then I'm typically going to miss a bunch more. Actually, isn't this a combat music, basically? Maybe? If it is, then uh, it's fine, but... Mm. I guess we knew later when it's posted on YouTube. Yeah, when there's a copy claim or something on it. Oh, so where do you get pull those speakers from? Okay, now it's different. I, I think it might be a remix of the battle music or something. But otherwise, I'm not. Rec I'm just playing, not recognizing it. I guess just the way it's been rockified. It 
is one of the sounds familiar to uh, generic metal uh, battle music. My army, my demons. And he pulls an Obu and Kenobi. I've revenged my people. Though I could not save them. Menos. Aceboy. I'm also wondering where he pulled those speakers from. <laughs> I'm fine. I thought on what you said, Velvet. I believe you're right after all. Thank you for your help. Dear friends. Was he actually fine? Nope. Or just holding back the tears. He's, he can still technically hear you, right? I feel, I feel bad for Minos Goggles. He didn't deserve all that. And again, who would? It mages his key. It was hidden beneath his robes. It was does it open? What does it open? <laughs> Wrong words. And the fragment of Earth, one of the five pieces. Okay. Yeah. Now well, let's see if we can get back to the front part of the castle and grab that chest. Yeah, if we could uh, even act it. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's two pieces down, I think. Let's see. Yeah, fragments. Let's see from this boy. I'm also wondering where he pulled those speakers from. Hmm. Uh, um, I'm not surprised that they were hidden under the floor, but still weird. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. This is where we're going to say bye to Dolkin. There you have it. This is where our paths diverge. Oh, thanks for everything, Dolkin. We could never have beaten mages without you. Yasvina is quite right. Forgive me for doubting you. Question is, did we really think change things now? Because we still suffered a lot of losses. We we did change things by pushing him forwards. But at least we didn't suffer hundreds of losses this time. But most other things remain unchanged. So we made a difference. Just not as big as one we'd hoped. <clears throat> I'm honored to have fought by your side, Colonel. Thank you. But you're forgetting the true hero. Goggles. Without his tactical mind, we would have never defeated mages and his forces. I could swear he's blushing. <laughs> now to draw up my report for the Emperor. Here's hoping I don't get executed for this. Executed? You were only following orders. You think me so naive. One of these days, you will have to tell me how you came about that Imperial Medal. We... No need to apologize. I knew the risk full well. And I'm glad to have aided you. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> okay. So he's, he is smarter than he... <laughs> we thought he was. He knew all along. But he's still... He's a true hero. Let us hope all... Let us hope all goes well for him. Once again, we altered history. For the better this time. At least I hope so. Hmm. And yeah, we can't interact with... It. At the absolute least, we prevented mages from getting his hands on an army. And that automatically yeah. cleared all other encounters. Okay. Now, uh, we need three more pieces, wait, one of wait, which wait, we can't... Wait, hold on. Go back there. Go back there. Go back to the bridge. What was that bridge name? <laughs> the River Kauai. Uh, just add one more E, or just remove the first A, and you get a certain uh, river that we also made play the mission on in Commandos 2. Yeah, but still, they made a pardon of it. Yeah. 
Okay, now let's see. Now it makes see. me wonder, would there be something, a lot of cute things all over it? I doubt that. Now, let's see. We've got the fragment of earth. We've got the fragment of fire. We know where the fragment of nature is. It's in the Sylph's forest. Um, then there was one more fragment. fragment and also, now we have to explain what this thing in the middle is. Oh! I've been kind of curious about what that was the entire time. <clears throat> Congratulations, you have the fragment of Earth. Maybe this unlikely alliance between humans and demons will change history. There's so much pain to erase. What am I myself, a thing born of a human and a demon? I am Ceres, that's what counts. That's what counts. That's what counts. Come and see me if you need more information on the fragments of the mage IT. Yeah, maybe the demon survivors won't be treated as harshly now. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Let's see. Okay, ice, yeah, we need to get there. When the Empire ruled the land, before the frozen continent began to melt, they lived fierce Vikings, yeah. Okay, but how do we get there? The Fragment of Time we can't reach until we have the other ones, I believe. We know where the Fragment of Nature is, but I have no clue about that bloody forest, how to get around there. And I think this is as far... I think this is as early as we can go. Yep, because now there's no hole over there. Hmm. Um... Let's see, where is the frozen continent? We would presume it to be to the north, since that's typically where ice stuff is put. Of there is south. something there. Yeah, or south, typically the north and south poles. Uh, hello. Oh, yeah, we can see this, but we can't disembark here. So there's something there, or someone there. Hmm. Let's have a look around to see if we can get to the north. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, where can we disembark here? Oh, so it was in the south. So, what is this here? Okay, doesn't look like there's any place for us to disembark. So I think we might need to find a land route, or rather an underground that route. Island, yeah, that island might be the answer. You need to go on the ground to come over here. But there's a, there's a cave there. Yeah, there's one there. And there's a cave there. We just need to find some place where this connects to the rest of the land. Let's see. Hmm. Let's pass through here. Maybe there's something in the forest up here. Spellbuck Forest. We haven't been here in forever. So there might be something hidden here. I thought it was an actual rock there. Let's see. Is there anything here that we can interact with now that we have companions with us? Is that? Bina can cut those, I'm pretty sure. Apparently not. Hmm. Hmm. Try that again. Nope. Okay, there. That tree is there to be cut down and rolled over to make a path to cross. But we need to be on the other side in the first place. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, I thought it would freeze the water, but no. 
Or was that because that was more of a diamond dust attack than an ice attack? No. Okay. Hmm. Did we check a guide? No, probably should, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, let's see. Come on, Google. Anything around here that is out of place or anything? We also have Magus's key, so that should be useful somewhere. Let's see. Okay, Inky is mowing for some reason. Let me go check for a second. Okay, she just follows me in. So now she's dancing around my legs, probably because I'm guessing the food in the bowls is uh, low, quote-unquote, again, aka too low for her picky tastes. Uh, let's see. Now I'm stuck with that mental image. Dancing cat. Cassie's the really cat, no way. Cat. Is cat even a, even a thing? Is there anything around here? Oh, hello. We know those. There we go. Okay. But is this just for. Okay, manimal. Okay. Oh, cool. Right? No. Can we do more? For... Come on. That looks like you should be able to get through there. Hmm. Okay, then. Yeah, we don't need a guide, otherwise we'd be lost. We still have one lead with Mages' key, so I think we should go look in... That, uh, <clears throat> look for that in uh, Genova. Let's see. That's it, um... <clears throat> I'm, I'm running a search on how to get to that Viking island uh, or the frozen continent whilst I'm doing this. So a bit multitask. Uh, let's see. Sail south in 3D. Okay. Uh, is there anywhere we can use Mages' key around here, perhaps? Hmm. And she took off. Let's see. Can we use the key here? Actually, we can. Okay. Uh, uh, this again? How did you get in here? This is Empire property. <clears throat> Closing the door. You don't look like followers of the mages. You could say that. I've got an idea. I write some music in my spare time. But I don't have all the gear. <laughs> I don't have all this gear at home. Would you like to listen to my music? Sure. Sweet. What track do you want to listen to? Okay. So this is... This is optional stuff. Get out. You're not supposed to be here. Okay, I'm guessing that's optional stuff at least. So, yeah, that's that answered. Um, who are you? Sorcerers have finally vacated the library, but it seems they took certain documents with them. Thus, the library is now closed for inventory. What documents, you ask? Oh, some legend about major ruins supposedly located beneath Demonia. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
need to sail south in 3D. So let's go to the uh, mag ma to the Magalith. Go to the third era. And yeah, then we should be able to get there somehow. Like we need a landing platform. <clears throat> or a dock, simply put. And the only one that we saw there was in the middle. And nobody so, said but my brain registered it wrong. What did you hear then? Dog. Okay, <laughs> second error. Yeah, but don't, don't use your dog as a sailing boat. That's a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, this sort of thing is why I generally don't really play too many JRPGs, or many at all. Uh, because things things tend to just stretch on so on and on and on and on and on that you start forgetting what the hell was going on in the first place. Yeah, like, I have a few that I do like, but they're not that I have finished. It was I, I need a break or it got extremely grindy. But yeah, can be many reasons. Okay. <clears throat> the hmm? one I do feel like they did quite well would probably well Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Yeah. Um well paced. Oh, wait, wasn't there a Magilith on Demonia over there? Because how else are we going to get... Hmm. We can't use this broken one. Okay, how are we going to get there? I want me to say there in 3D. Yeah, but the problem is that we don't have anywhere, uh, we don't have any other docks we can use here. Because this giant hole here. So, yeah, we need to... We need to go back to a time where we can sail to Demonia, and... I, I think there was a, a functional Magilith there. That we can use to go back to the third era and then sail around to the frozen continent and then find somewhere to dock over there. Then there's likely going to be a Magilith there for us to travel back and forth with. <clears throat> right. well, yeah, I'm just guessing at the moment and just hoping that we don't take too long with all of this. Okay. Pass through here. Hmm. <clears throat> and was there something here? Yes, there is. Okay. And we could look around during the second era to see if uh, there's any better relationships between demons and humans. Uh, but let's focus on our priority first. Trying to get to the frozen continent, well, the not so frozen continent anymore in this era. Okay. Set sail. There's still this bloody sea serpent over here. Oh, wait, we need to go around to get... Hmm. Yeah, we need to go through here. There's the sea serpent. That is definitely not going to come up in the story anytime soon. Hard sarcasm. Okay, we have... The forest, we can go around here. Can we go further to here? Yes, we can. Just the last little bit of fertile soil left after the blast. And there it is. Still actually fro... Okay, not so... <laughs> okay, it's still frozen, but there's a whole lot less. Okay. <clears throat> 
After this one, we can go after the nature uh, fragments. Yep, that works here as well. For mana. Okay. Wait. Okay. okay. Yeah, we can upgrade them another time. Okay, okay. I was to guess if we were... Oh, yeah, we can, yeah. I was to guess if we were to get another character. Okay. Another upgrade makes more sense. All right. Hello there. You seem lost. How did you end up here? I'm Olaf, the lost, Vi the lost Viking. My people were lost when the ocean swallowed up our village. What did we do to anger the great turtle so? The <laughs> you found the lost Viking. <laughs> I called it! That, that called was the joke it. I was going for. I, I said last time that it's going to be probably a lost Viking reference. One of the Blizzard's earlier, earliest games. But they had a game er before Lost Vikings. Had a few actually, but... Uh, one of the early days uh, games around before when I just started the Warcraft series, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, about I was bloody right. And I said it. Blizzard have a, a lot of old IP. I'm surprised they haven't tried to revive. Yeah, the last I think the Lost Vikings, uh, the Lost Vikings were used was with uh, Heroes of the Storm, which they canned some time ago, I think. They canned it, but I'm not surprised. We don't often see outsiders here. Did you come by the undersea tunnel? You don't look very trolly. Okay. They look very short. Do right. it again. Lost like the Lost Vikings. Yeah. I don't know if they stopped, if they just deleted Heroes of the Storm, but I do know that they stopped updating it. You can't become a Viking warrior <laughs> until you complete your training, and we only sell weapons to true warriors. Okay, jackass. I'd be surprised if Blizzard just outright delayed that. We Vikings are born to fight and conquer. Our children train right from the cradle to become great warriors. Only those who prove their bravery to the great turtle will acquire infinite lives. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that the great turtle is going to be a Koopa and that is infinite lives? Yeah, that, that's a reference to a, a trick you can do in some Mario games. Where you can just inf infinitely bounce in a turtle shell to get infinite lives. Oh. I, <clears throat> I oversee the ongoing tunnel construction. We have to watch out for potential cave-ins. Would you call ca uh, would cost us years of work? Okay. I just realized. These are Vikings, correct? Yeah. So, does that mean I should do the voice acting? <laughs> if you want, there's just a lot of them. Uh, I can do some. Let's see. Some heretics once tried to say that the great turtle didn't carry the world on her back, but instead lived at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> at the bottom of the sea! With the fish! We killed them all! Wait, what? The gods allowed it, so we must done the right thing. Uh, if, yeah, gods allowing things is typically not as good a sign as you think. And I'm thinking that <laughs> carrying a turtle carrying the world on their back, that might be a reference to Discworld of all things. Let's see. At the dawn of time, our entire land was submerged. But the god Meiji, uh, but the god Meiji created the ice beneath our feet on which to run. And he created the great turtle to guide us. Uh, but Helian? Hmm? The, the, the turtle thing in this world is a reference to an old mythology. I forgot which religion had it. But it's a reference to that the religion. <clears throat> okay. Our boss is getting ready for the annual tournament. You can face him in battle once you've won enough matches. Sign up, go to the counter. Uh, what counter? I was just going to join this. More mana. Okay. I don't think we're gonna need them for the, these matches. 
The annual grade uh, warrior tournament is starting soon. Only those who finish their training are eligible. This year, the winner gets a remarkable ancient artifact. We found it while digging out the Great Undersea Tunnel. Okay. It was Balin, Salafundin, son of Farin, eh, son of Borin, who started digging the Great Tunnel. Those are, I'm pretty sure the, most of those are uh, names from the Hobbits. More of them are like thumbs of the Hobbits. Let's see. Visionary that he was, he knew that the Great Turtle would see our true valor if we slaughtered everyone on the continent. Without, <laughs> without the Great Tunnel, we'd have no other way there. The icy mountains are impassable. <laughs> okay, so you're not going there t t for trade or anything. You're just going to invade from underground. <laughs> Let's see. What... We can't read the sign for some reason. So a snail? Here? What a small world. After your spectacular escape from the Colosseum, I was fired. I must admit I suffered a brief amount of depression, but I must wait, also wait, thank on. you. Hmm? He's the, it was, I was supposed to voice act. I yeah, didn't know he was returned. <laughs> the announcer, yeah, go ahead then. All right, because of you, I finally found my way in life. I decided to explore the world and bring back the tale of my travels to the Imperial Library. It will be in my life's work, Largo Le Grande's Travels. That rings a bell. Uh, isn't Largo Le Grande that guy from Monkey Island 2, the first quote-unquote boss? Oh, oh, might be. Well, good luck with that, Guybrush. After generations spent training mind and body and mind, our people are finally ready. We've already completed the first stage of the Undersea uh, Tunnel. Soon we'll reach the continent, where we will invade, pillage, and massacre to our heart's content. Yeah, I think you'll find uh, the place is already in ruins. <laughs> I'm guessing they'll just get there, take one look at the hellscape that the disaster left behind, and just turn around <laughs> and go play cards. Hello, have you come up to sign up uh, for the annual Viking uh, tournament? Yes, I'm sorry, registration is only for those who've completed our training. Okay, expectable, but where do we get this training then? I soon only, only just finished his training. About time he beat those cave trolls. He's already six for crying out loud. <laughs> He'll have to train overtime to become a great warrior and obtain infinite lives. We worship the great turtle. She is vast and carries the whole world on her back. With her blue gray cell and bright orange eyes, she can, <clears throat> she can find you wherever you are. You want to go through the, the tunnel? You'll need to get approval from the chief engineer. He should be home around now. Okay, but where do we start this training then? Hmm. Yeah, what is this counter? Yeah, we, we just came from there. We, it's just that we need to sign up for training and get that done first. Is there anywhere else here to go? To have that done, maybe? I'm not seeing anything over tunnels? there. Hmm. There's, not, there's nothing in the third area here. <laughs> also, a nice little thing that <clears throat> I now realized. Uh, there was mention that this place was melting, and well, since most of it is ice, that makes sense. And with this being here, well, you could pair, you could get from that that if you were far ahead in time, or far enough ahead in time, you would be able to get to that dock when the rest is uh, melted. Yeah, <laughs> Glacier Boys. Something tells me that their village got swallowed up because the ice they built it on is over water. And yeah, when the ice started melting, well, better hope you know how to swim. Did we oh go in dear. here? Wait. Uh, yeah. You want to go through the tunnel? Ordinarily, only Vikings can access it, but if you, you know, too wish to prove your valor to the Great Turtle, who am I to stop you? You have my permission. Go to beat the trolls, and maybe you can register for our annual tournament in time. Okay, there we go. Gotta go chat with him for a bit. Then we can go into the tunnel, complete our training. 
and yeah, join the tournament, kick the chief's ass probably. <clears throat> I don't think these are trolls. Let's see, Kalisha, we better know how to fend off hypothermia more like, yeah, that as well. Okay, we can break these. You're not trolls either. Okay, you're some sort of sprites. Hmm. Icy wind sprite? Now that I think about it, there's also that guy in the in the windy valley who says the he wants something from us. We have no idea what. Okay, these will shoot in an, a plus or a, a, an X. Okay, these things are pretty tough here, actually. Hmm. Thank you. Need those. Okay, this is the other end of the tunnel. We're going to end up in the middle here, yep. Caverns of Noria. <laughs> okay. I've heard of this place. If I'm not mistaken... Load. He's thinking very hard on his memory now. Here we go. These are the caverns, uh, caverns of Noria. The Caverns of Noria? Yes. The Caverns of Noria. You heard that, Velvet. The Caverns of Noria. Uh, uh, wait, what are the Caverns of Noria again? <laughs> they are age-old mines. In times past, the shroom people of Fungus Land established a, a nudist summer camp there? What? Indeed, the low temperature and high humidity levels are ideal conditions for fungal beings. Okay. But they delved too greedily and too deep and awoke that witch should not should never have been disturbed. The big vicious troll. <laughs> what, no Balrog? He and his troll minions overran the caves, and I shouldn't like to uh, I shouldn't like to tell you what became of the shroom people. But ever since rarely has a soul ventured into these caverns, beyond a handful of foolhardy explorers. I would have liked to avoid taking this path. Be on your guard, everyone. You don't let me catch me, right, Goggles? I... I'm not afraid. <laughs> Cave filled with trolls? That's one of my favorite hangout spots. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. I get the feeling we're going to get plenty of Mario references here as well. A new slime type. Yeah, this one spawns little ones as you attack it. Okay. A nudist... ...camp? Yeah, of mushroom people. Oh. Hello. And goodbye, if you quick. <laughs> Glacier Boy Nudist Shroom Colony, a 40k orc's favorite holiday location. <laughs> it might not be wrong, but finally enough. There. Okay. Oh, hello. Are you the shroom people or are you trolls? Probably trolls. Good at trolling minions. Present a big troll and his minions. So, hmm. It looks like the bridge was destroyed. 
And I believe it is possible to pass underneath it. Look at that pretty creature. Eek, the, <laughs> the trolls found me. Spare alerts, they are hiding, and they are very fast. Oh, she's so pretty with her coarse skin <laughs> and lovely complexion. I just know that she will like her. Carlos, I beg you, don't let them take me alive. I get the feeling they're not talking about you. But what I really like about her are those big muscles. What delightful curves. <laughs> I knew all those hours in the gym had paid off. Come on, let's grab her. <laughs> Careful, Miss Frida, there they are. And yep, <laughs> they grabbed Menos instead. <laughs> so that does confirm that those were trolls. <laughs> what? Hey, come back. <laughs> I'm the pretty creature. <laughs> uh, I meant... <laughs> Quick, Carlos, let's go help Menos. <laughs> I can't bear to think what the big vicious troll is gonna do to him. <laughs> He's probably going to doll him up or something. Hello, fire-breathing totem. Yep, Oricon. Hey, Daddy! Oh, my dear gods. Pull a Final Fantasy seven. What? Yeah, in Final Fantasy VII, uh, your main character, Cloud, has to cross-dress to infiltrate a place for a bit. I and... did not get that far. Oh, wait, no, I haven't played that, the one with the Cloud. Why do we get the feeling we're going to get a Donkey Kong area with these stone throwers, with how they roll around like that? Oh, almost... Yeah, uh, let's... Should be somewhere here. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Okay, I accidentally jumped down, it seems to. Okay, I don't suppose... I don't think that rock was supposed to glitch through the other textures. Go and okay, that one was in a very annoying spot. Uh, let me hold off on using the other potion since we can just take this one out easily. Okay. Oh. And we can't Same get through that. Hmm. Wait. You're going up? And so am I. <laughs> really? Uh, your mask might be on a bit too tight, dude. Have a nice day! Oh, uh... yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay, that was funny. Oh, you're Can't bless about cities. Did we just get trolled? I guess. A troll. Okay, you, their masks are what are invulnerable. So when those are standing up, that is when they can get hit. See that. There we go. There we go. Much easier this time. Did we get our potion back? Yep, we did. There we go. Okay, now this time let's not. Oh, okay, they just skip it. 
<laughs> this time, let's not look on in stunned silence as it just runs into us and kills us. Is spider. Was a trolling? I think. There. We've got a lot of gold now. So whatever upgrades uh, the Vikings have, we can afford. App. Let's see anything down here. Just another broken bridge. And a lot of spikes underneath. <laughs> Can't reach that. So jump down here and across. Oop. Just as I move my hand away to scratch my nose. <laughs> Go clear all of that up. Okay. Hmm. Okay, are these things just out of sync? Yeah, they, they run out of sync. That's annoying. Which means that with bad timing, you could... Yeah, they could not be lined up for quite a while. Just up there. Just, just up there. I'm using the green potion. Just in case. That we don't have enough of a we don't have enough jump height to get to that chest though. <clears throat> so maybe there's another way around. Or we get a jump upgrade somewhere. Get a good charge with this. Okay, at least the rocks fade out after a certain amount of time. Okay. Oop, spikes. Lost you. Okay, those are so going to either crumble or fall. Yep, fall. Platforming triggers all this time. <clears throat> okay. For a moment I thought we would need uh, manos to break this to get to that, but nope, we can just go around. Okay. Uh, spider in the curry. Spider well, curry is probably spider something. Really spicy curry. Yes, yeah, sp spider curry is probably something somewhere, but I would never want to try that. Easy. There is a way to make you try it. But, is it very simple, actually? Yeah, I, I'm not. I wouldn't try it either way. Okay. No, no, you just don't tell you there's spider in it. It would be mean. <laughs> Go. Yep. Yep. Can I hit those with a charge? Yep, I can. <laughs> Fuck all of you. Okay. 
<clears throat> now where is this going? Let's save points. Okay. I'm starting to worry about Menos. Oh my pets, your bulging muscles make me tremble. Release me, I'm not your pet. <laughs> okay, he is not too happy. Wait, is this going... Yeah, <laughs> here we have Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh, some people came and stole my pets. Uh, but they'll never... Or two... Okay. Either I read that wrong or that was written wrong. But they'll never reach me. It would seem Menos needs our help. Uh, him and his dignity need your help. Ew, ew. Going all in with the boulders, huh, dude? Well, DK at least would give a pause between each. Rock and roll. Oh, my pet, your friends care for you so. But so do I. No one can tear us apart. Of course, he flees, just like DK and... Okay, it would have been funny there if he could get, get if he could get hurt by his own boulders. Oh. And that missed. Okay, I thought he was going back to the other spot. There we go. And now we can officially call ourselves Troll Slayer. Okay, and there is Menos unharmed, save for his dignity and pride. Okay. That moment I had a lag spike. So I missed that. So how's our pretty princess doing? Thank you. All of you. I... I know not what I would have done without you. What are you talking about, Menos? You would have done exactly the same for Goggles, Velvet, or me, right? I'm so glad we saved you from that vicious troll. With his mask and his club... Ugh. There's no telling what he would have done to you if we hadn't stepped in. I would rather not discuss it anymore. So no more, I've already forgotten the whole thing. Gals, we should be able to use this ladder to get out of the caverns. I believe we can consider this training completed. Great, we'll be able to take part in the tournament. Okay. Back into the tunnel. And off we go. And we can also check out that other path. Let's see what's down that way. Not much needs to fight these. What's over this way? Or did they just get confused during the digging? Hello. I can tell that the ice around us will soon disappear. Then once again will I be lost underneath the, uh, lost beneath the tide. Until I awaken anew. You who seeks the sacred power of ice. I see you are wide awake, but did you bring me what I asked? Okay, this is how we upgrade them to their second level, I'm guessing. I will need more than that? What? Do we need two mana to upgrade them? But we, ha we do have a two mana. Uh, yeah, we... Hmm. Okay, is what is it that else? we... Let me do a quick search, because now we have two people, or cr beings, that want something. Uh, let's see, Everland 2. Yeah, I think we should do check up them both. Or... I feel like this is part of the game where we can just end up going in circles. Which was a common thing back hmm. in those days. Let's see, Everland 2, Scotty. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, it does say that they, you need to give them mana, but... Okay, do we need three mana for each upgrade or something? Or do we need to see uh, the witch first to see if she can upgrade them again? <laughs> Might be good to go see the witch first. Okay, at least we know they're here against... now. Oh yeah. And Skadi. That sounds familiar. I think, I think there's a Norse goddess by that name. Yeah, of the... No, not, maybe not of the hunt? Wasn't that Freya? Uh, Freya's not the... Wait... Yo, Skadi might be a hunt in Ski. Like, oh, I yeah, think she's that... the ice giant who made it herself into the Pantheon. Um, yeah. Okay. Do you want to know the tournament rules? Yes. What do you wish to know? Uh, how does the tournament work? Broken up into single combat duels. You have to defeat each of six warriors before moving on to the boss battle. <laughs> Whoever beats the boss first wins the prize. This year's prize is an ancient thingamabob we found while digging the tunnel. Okay. Duels. During a duel, you must align sacred gems to build up power. Oh, great. It's going to be... Uh, uh, a lineup. Uh, and it's. I forget the name of it, and I forget the names of the most popular ones. But it's something that I really, really do not like because there's so many games made with it for so many different IPs that we simply put all that money and work could have been put to something much better than bare bones mobile trash to be uh, yeah <laughs> unfiltered for a second with that. <clears throat> Let's see. This is a She was magic nude, I believe. Okay. Hmm. Oh. This accumulated power will then allow you to perform special attacks. Seeing as you're still a beginner, you may seek help from your friends for special attacks. After your turn ends, your opponent gets a go. To be defeated, he must lose all his life. Remember, only the true warriors chosen by the great turtle can acquire infinite lives. How do you wish to know? Tip. If you line up at least four sacred gems, you can play against straight. Uh, you can play against straight away. Don't let your opponent line up four gems instead of you. Okay, so it's going to be like a dual version of this. Look for gem colors that are useful to your opponent. What do? You... Okay. Oh, that's the signal. The tournament has begun. Good luck and stay strong out there. Okay. So do I have to? Oh wait, I. It's, are you prepared to duel? Yes. And yeah, it's one of these. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think these are older than the mobile games were. Way older. Yeah, yeah but they are so yeah, frequent they these days them. that they just really freaking annoy me. Yeah. I would say they reinvented it because it was they saw that, oh, we can reinvent this for mobile, for its e program, and we can reinvent it for money. Let's see, he needs the red only, and like blue. Just time killers back in the day. They come before they explode, reborn, or explode in the mobile market. Okay, uh, how do I select the power? Destroys a square, deals six damp. Okay. Our, if I'm right, it's not only the mobile box it exploded into, it's... I think even heard it somewhere exploded into... ...erotic games as well for some reason, which sucks me. Okay, uh, uh Glacier Bird looks like Candy Crush, Viking Edition. Yeah, Candy Crush was what I was trying to think of. Yeah, that's the most <laughs> modern people refer to. I think that he, he had... I don't know what the first original was called. Let's see, we need basically everything. We'll go with Candy Crush my base. <laughs> Hibernation. Okay. Uh, we need basically... Okay. Oh, that was a decent turn. Yeah, for me, this kind of thing just relies way too much on uh, random you know, luck with how these things fall down. Like with Tetris, at least you know what is coming up, but with. 
With this sort of thing, you have no idea what's upcoming or coming down. We're actually getting money from those? Okay. Uh, let's see. If we can get some of these. Uh, extra turn. If we can get these, then... Uh, does that up our damage? Or Okay, that's just straight up an attack. <laughs> that's that. I've been defeated? Impossible. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's see. Like, I know there is some oh, tactic with this in trying to set up uh, combos of this, but I again, I just... I just think there's too much randomization in it. Yeah. And I was in this. I liked it. I liked the earliest uh, theme we had going on with the, the strategy and all of them. This. Yeah. Oh, well, oh that's a big attack. I, I think the strategy one the most fun. Oh, sorry, I interrupted you there. Uh, no, I just commented. There was a five sword that, you know, one that we got there. Okay. okay. Again, I understand why the other is for it is older than mobile games. This thing is way older, but I feel like at the same time that it's one that should have skipped. Yeah, yeah let's destroy square, deal six damage plus three per red gem. Okay, and does that mean how many extra we have of those? No, not quit the battle. I just want to get out of selecting this. Okay, we'll deal. Let's see. There. <clears throat> no, wait, does that mean how m those effects are from how many red gems are destroyed during the use of that or something? Let's see. If this deals nine damage, then it's based on the amount of gems that we have. Or let's Okay, this it's based on the amount that we destroy with that, I think. Sandstorm <laughs> in a blizzard. There's Does a big one. Summon a bliss what? And there we go, just finish him off. Okay, at least this is more interesting than uh, it could have been. My compliments. Nobody's beaten me for a while there. I'm not surprised if that is, is a tight goal. It's supposed to be snowstorm, but actually it's sandstorm and never fixed it. Maybe. Oh, our turn again. There we go. And again. Let's see. Okay, at least this isn't difficult. And there we go. Okay. Not too shabby, but you've got room for improvement. Okay. Can we just challenge anyone else? Yes, yes, Lago. Go, Mr. Guybrush. Okay. Uh. I think he's remember Log Log Lagrande. Is the He's the guy that threw you off a bridge in the second game. Mm. Okay, we can cancel the money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if there if there is one JRPG like game that will probably stream, it'll be uh, <clears throat> it'll be a uh, Cyber Sleuth. Uh, with off-screen grinding, very likely. Yeah, it is very easy. 
you know, just time consuming with how much the grind can deem be. Yeah, unless you yeah, are able to, she's in and win some of those uh, XP bonus things you can cook your Digimon with. Yeah. That is the br damn breeze. Yeah, we have more than enough. <clears throat> we have more than enough health to uh, tank most of these. Okay. Are they healed? Okay, but I see a four line of swords here. Okay, one more attack should do it. Actually, there. Okay, I can see how this could be a lot more interesting since it's competitive and with the same boards. How could you beat me? Okay. Yes, yes. It's... I'm not seeing any fours. I should realize I lost all my will to voice act these Vikings uh, thanks to this candy crush. Yeah. Okay. So, I think it was called Yem Crush or something else in the beginning. Maybe. Again, I I have pretty much no interest in this kind of game. And whenever I see one new popping up on the Play Stores, I just go, "Who the fucking hell asked for this?" Because there's just so many already. Yeah, I don't get it. That's a big five. And let's see. Freezes enemy powers for one turn. Which would be a good counter to if they've got anything ready or about ready. Let's see. Turn one color of gem into another. Okay, that could be really useful if there's a bunch of a certain type. Destroys attack yeah. gems and inflict as much damage. That's a powerful one. We need to get rid of greens. And uh, let's see. From Glacier Boy. Would would it fault that Vikings invented Candy Crush? <laughs> I doubt Vikings invented it. And this is also a nice little way to get some cash. I will admit that as well. <clears throat> yeah, dude, some of the, I think some of the cash we actually got from the RTS part. Uh, we left that area with about a thousand, and when we came out of the cave, I think we had two thousand. Yeah, well, yeah. If it looks like we had a, a similar amount. Let's see. Oh, I can. We can deliver a, quite a blow with this one. There we go. <clears throat> okay. It's Helion. It's not just the Candy Crush game, but it's also the Mafia Mobile game ads that are annoying. Yeah. Who exactly are you? The one who kicked your ass is who. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. There are first four. And I'm not seeing another four. Actually, I see one here. I do like that they give a little shine to combos that can be made. To draw your attention there. Uh, oh, one there. Yep. See, and an attack. And attack. attack there as well. See, if we can get some yellow ones, like here, we can get Menos's attack now. <clears throat> uh, okay. That's... So you could have got then uh, some coin and a sword attack at, at the same time there. Uh, here, you mean? Yeah, uh, was close to where the red gem next to the sword was. But it's mm. too late now. There we 
go. <clears throat> no fours. No. F no. Come oh, come on. <clears throat> uh, oh, at least these don't take too long. Yeah, I accidentally quit. <laughs> okay, let's get some of those early. That, there was a four he could have gone for there. And I'm guessing the AI for this isn't programmed to be to go a bit easy on you as well. Let's see. We need some red ones. That won't. No. Okay. Hmm. Okay, when they're frozen, they don't count. Thank you. Okay. Need more red for Menos' attack. But that's not going to happen, it looks like. There we go. And that's also just something that ends up happening with this sort of game is that you you only get use out of the top bit because that's where actual new stuff is coming in. Okay. There we go. Could have used those red ones, but oh well. Okay. Yep. Thank you. And there we go. Okay. <clears throat> now let's see, Glazer Boy. I've noticed a lot of mobile game ads where they use false advertising. I think so. Are the, those are the only games where it gets turned into a meme instead of backlash. Uh, yeah, just that's just the thing with that. It's just there's too many ads for the regulators to actually keep track of it. What? You actually beat all of those warriors? Name of the great turtle. You can challenge our boss. Okay, he's going... Uh, not a soul. Do you think it could be a trap? No, at least I don't think so. In spite of their slightly crude ways, the Vikings uh, do seem to have a fairly strong sense of honor. I can't imagine they would set a trap for us. I think you're right, Velvet. From what I gather, they have to fight with Braver and Valor to get eternal life. I'm afraid of what will happen to main letters if the Vikings complete their tunnel and launch an attack on the Empire. I would say there is little to fear in that regard. Oh? Why do you say that? Because the first thing they'll find is the, <laughs> is the wasteland. <clears throat> Think about it, Fina. Nowhere in the history books are the Vikings ever mentioned which would suggest they never made it to the continent. Ah, yes. I hadn't th I hadn't thought of that. But then, whatever happened to them? They forgot to learn to swim. I have a theory. Of course, I don't have the proof to substantiate it, uh, substantiate it, so I'd need to locate the relevant documents and relics. But if I am right, something triggered a sudden melting of the frozen continent. And what prompted this assertion, Miss Velvet? <clears throat> I never told you how I retrieved my book. The one that allows me to use my ice power. No? And yes. I admit I ad bleh, admit it has piqued my curiosity. Never have you seen its like. It's super useful anyway. I'd love to get one for myself. It's called the Book of Borea Boreas. 
one of the three legendary Magi artifacts along with the Stone of Time and the Magi Key. Okay, how'd you get your hand on that? I stumbled upon it in the Great Library of Genova while researching the Magi. But they just had a magic book like that on the shelves? <laughs> For anyone to grab? I managed to translate part of it, which is why I can use some of its power. But there must be so much more to it. Okay, so basically it's a sort of iceborne uh, Necronomicon. The anarchivist Largo brought out the book to the library after his sudden expedition during the Great War. The great expedition he is on currently at the moment. His account seems consistent. He must have found it in the land of the Vikings. Which means there is another, there's another copy of it somewhere around here. So if I'm getting this right, your book leaving this place causes the ice to melt? That's one possibility. The melting of the frozen continent is a long process, but if it were to happen over several centuries, it could lead to rising sea levels. And the world would be covered almost entirely in water, with only a few islands remaining. This would do, yeah, this would do little to change my people's future. But then all demons will be gone. Goggles? <laughs> I know you think lengthy dialogue is boring and you wish you could skip it, but we're discussing important stuff here. So stop snoring, will you? It's not me, Fina. I do not think Solid Snail was the culprit, Miss Fina. I think the boss is taking a nap. The snowman? <laughs> He's snoring. Uh, oh, what? Did somebody call for me? And he talks. <laughs> Who are you? All right. It's all coming back to me. I was meditating, focusing on the tournament ahead when I dozed off. You must be here for the duel. In that case, let's get on with it. Oh, but I haven't introduced myself. I'm the Viking Chief. You can call me Jon Snow. <laughs> oh, for love of... Uh... Game of Thrones. <laughs> Glacier Boy, I knew it. He doesn't look so tough, Goggles. Let's win ourselves that tournament prize. I really hope it's the major key fragments. Yeah, it could be that. My father taught me to mistrust appearances. Watch yourself. No doubt this Jon Snow is more dangerous than he appears. Yeah, I think we just could bring over one of those torches and be done with it, but I think that would count more as an assassination and we'd have the entire village on our head. The talking snowman. I'm dying to get a closer look at this new mystery. Yes, yes, Velma, come on. <laughs> Are you prepared to fight? Yeah. Okay. He, oh, he has as much health as we have, about. And he has a new gem. Okay. Okay. We're almost at the time to end the stream, oh. but let's at least end this. You just froze one of our characters. Okay. Oh. Wait, is that what these do? Oh, yeah, okay. So we need to avoid you know, those. Okay, noted. Ooh, yeah. Okay, it doesn't freeze them for long, though. I see a four. Also, sp speaking of uh, Cyber Sleuth, I'm pretty sure that the sound that plays whenever we make a four is also used in Cyber Sleuth. That one. Force. No, it's not it. It's sim similar, but still very different. Okay. There was a four he could use. Let's see. Okay, Menos. There we go. Good amount of damage. Uh, let's see. There, heal up. Winter has come, winter is coming, which is a Game of Thrones meme. Go, combo. Mm. 
Nope, four. Another hit in. Okay. And I see another good opportunity for Menos. Okay, they should be done in a few more turns. Yep. And there's the stream timer. Yes. Right, no. Okay, X cycles through uh, the different things and, and counts as a move. Done. Okay. And that's Jon Snow dealt with. Matchmaker, you have defeated Jay Snow. <laughs> you are all truly great warriors. Though not Vikings, you successfully won the tournament. Congratulations, here is your reward. And it's the Book of Boreas. Okay, an extraordinary ancient tomb tone that keeps it cool, it keeps its cool under pressure. Uh now, we best not hand this to Velvet, or we will get a Soul Reaver event here. Another Book of Boreas? What is the meaning of this? It's a unique artifact that can be only one copy. Yet, yet it is possible. If this is indeed the book that Miss Velvet discovered in the Imperial Library, there must be a version of it in that era. Your copy is the one from the future, but both are in fact one and the same. Lord Menos, I'm impressed. I'm convinced you would have made a grand king for your people after the demons won the Great War. But what's good in, in what uh, what good's another copy of the same book? We need the fragment of ice of the Magi key. And Sarah's tool does we'd find it here. I don't know where the fragment is, but we must at all costs return this book to an archivist Largo. But why? I'd really like my own <laughs> my own ice book. If we fail to return it to him, we will effectively alter history. I won't ever find the book in the library, nor will I visit the Magi ruins on Cursed Isle. And thus we will never meet. We will create a paradox. The consequences are unforeseeable. She is correct, Miss Fina. We must not take such a risk. I don't want you to disappear either, Velvet. I think we bumped into Largo in the, Viking, in the Viking village. Let's go give him the book and continue our search for the fragment of ice. These foreigners make absolutely no sense. <laughs> I didn't understand the thing you said. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> oh, for love. Oh, good gods. I'm, I'm screen printing that. I... Th yep. Gungles, I fear we have already altered the course of history too much, but I imagine it's nothing compared to what will happen once we use the Magi Key. Hmm. Never have I met a human such as Velvet. She seems to make no distinction between humans and demons. To her, both are subjects worthy of study. Yeah, she, she has no, uh... She has no prejudice about either side. And, yeah... Though before we end, I can see one thing that we could do to alter history here somewhat. Uh, we need to give the all the we need to give the copy of this uh, book of Boreas to Largo. Uh, but if we left Velvet's copy here, yes, it would cost her her ice powers, but it would keep the continent from uh, melting. If we could we could store it in the uh, cavern from which we came to land here in the first place. That, hmm. Maybe I'm curious if they'll be. I'm curious if the game will be smart enough for that. And then we could go back. Then we could go to the third era and retrieve the book there, to <clears throat> to have her get her powers back. Hmm. Oh, bloody hate that uh, combat maybe me yawn. <laughs> okay. For now, though, let's go look up someone to raid. Uh, okay, since I forgot to turn off the other browser, and I forgot to move this one, so sorry for that. Okay. 
uh there switch then i change the screen share and then we go look for someone and there and there okay there's a bunch of people online we have nico silverado who is streaming armored core 6 fires of rubicon Genovia is streaming Jackbox Party Packs. Okay, let me take a peek at that. It's typically it more multiplayer. To watch at times. Hmm. Okay. Last time I played that uh, with Kisuke, Pika, and such, it was pretty fun. And X as well. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm guessing their view count is off a bit because there's a lot more... There's more names here in chat that I'm seeing may have, who have commented... But yeah, they also got a bunch of friends that they're playing with already. Uh, let's see. Big V Streams is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Chubbers the Moon Seal is playing Dark Souls. Horatius the Dwarf is also playing Armored Core. I'm Nice is playing Final Fantasy XIV. Ref Raccoon with Baldur's Gate as well. WBPL with Breath of the Wild. Endrim with Final Fantasy as well. K9 with Baldur's Gate. Kiri Yoko with Doom 2 Hell on Earth. And that's about our tip in our typical range. So, who would you say to rate of those or look for someone new? Let's look for someone new. Uh, let's see. Delinquent Ghost with Armored Core. Hamster of Wrath with Battletech. Uh, Longest Dave with Marbles on stream. Is that what I think it is? Uh, oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's one of those marble uh, race uh, games. These have become oddly popular recently since, well, the pandemic and all that. <laughs> okay. Clemps uh, RPG is playing Armored Core as well. Then we have someone who is just chatting. And Susie Doodle Tunes with Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, which is basically a modern uh, release of Jet Set Radio. Uh, Kiske streamed that from start to end a, a while back. <clears throat> Okay. Any of those, or shall I pick? I will let you pick, but I won't show myself here at the moment. Okay, I'm thinking Genovia then. Since, well, Jackbox games typically have a spectator participation as well. Okay, so let's copy the name, head to our place, and hold on a second, I saw something there. Okay, I thought I saw. I didn't actually. I thought I saw something like slow mode chat, which made make sense. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy, and thank you, Drakir, as always. You're welcome, all of it, my friend, and thank you all for joining this madness. Yeah, let's see. In about three hours, just a little less than that. We will be continuing with Dave the Diver before we put that on the main uh, weekdays. <clears throat> and then tomorrow we have Showcase Sunday. And in the evening, we'll see what else we'll pick up. Maybe we can get Rom to join for more L.A. Noir or just more <laughs> just more Dave the Diver. I just really like that game. I, I kind of want to keep... I kind of want to play it between streams, but I'm, then I just uh, end up starting stuff and it will be missed on on stream. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I agree with Dave Diver on Sunday or oh, LNR. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. For now, though, let's start that raid. And, yeah. Thank you, again. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for demonic seagulls. <laughs>